Welcome to a new episode uh, of my Let's Play. Uh, I know we're missing the jukebox here. I have no clue where I went. Um, I can't find it. So we should make a new jukebox. Um, how do we make a jukebox again? Um, <laughs> this is kind of awkward. I think that was jukebox. Yeah, good. Nice. We found ourselves a jukebox. So we can replace the jukebox. I also, this one was broke. Um, I know there are items on the ground. Uh, no, this one is working again. Okay, great. Uh, also, I made a new path. That's uh, this one. Uh, that goes around to the ravine. Uh, maybe we need to make it more secure. Then we have the uh, the water flow. Oh, that's still not done. Uh, and then we have a bridge right here, which I'm not satisfied up yet but it's better as it used to be this patch continues to go towards this place so now we have a circular loop oh he find a hole i fill the hole so i'm basically just patching it up um although i worked on this one uh what i wanted to do for this room i'm not sure about the gravel yet uh but i wanted to do the tree in the middle let's support a bit the roof and that kind of stuff and then when you walk in all the gravel falls down like that and uh, then you can get behind it and the only corner that's done at the moment is that one right there well done done not completely done i'm still working on the leaves i know they have a bit different color but um yeah not so much i can do about this also be a bit cheaty because uh i needed this block to be uh to be air for the sticky piston so um what i did grab the shovel and then there was a fake block and then go off again so what it basically did is i pulled this block back and to the left side maybe you can see it with this corner block <laughs> not even close <laughs> It's so well hidden. It's really fast, goes on and off really fast, and you can just uh, um, open your chest quickly. I uh, still need to do something so we can open uh, the, the upper chest because I want a tree to be a uh, tree chest high. Um, still working also on the floor at this point. Uh, not the floor, the ceiling. Um, the floor, I haven't really much doing uh, much about that. Um, the reason why I'm putting this lock sideways is I think oh, this looks worse than that one. So that's why I do that. I, I also don't have anything yet for these middle parts. I think maybe pathways to different areas. Although I think we're probably hitting the surface almost. But this one doesn't quite, doesn't really matter. But still let's put this in i just re found some more roots so uh then we have one more thing i want to get out before we start the episode f any further is i've been working uh my um uh, my things off <laughs> let's say it that way on the nether farm uh i've imp improved way on top of the nether. I made a tutorial on that too. I've been doing a lot of things on my computer. Apparently the recording is still not correctly because I'm missing two pixels or something. Huh. Oh, that goes alright. I missed two pixels on the, on the bottom side of the screen. That should not be a big problem. Watch my render distance. 32 chunks. That's gonna let me out quite some bit. 60. I don't know why it's all changing that. Come on, map levels and then 70 FPS. Thank you. So it keeps my PC more science and steady and stuff like that. So we go up here and the way. I know it's a bit weird staircase. Um, it's temporary. We're gonna fix it anyway. Soon, hopefully. <laughs> Not sure about it still. Sorry if you're blowing the mic. So if we go up to here, we go to the nether, um, the gold farm, the nether the, the, the pigman farm. How oh, did you get no uh, zombie pigmans they are called? 
Not big, some big means some reason. Ah, more levels. Can we put upgrading? Good. I've been here and I couldn't put everything in the uh, chest. Oh, yeah, we have all the boots, let's put them in too. And some food in there to bring back. Let's keep bringing food to this place. I want this to stack. Ah. Need some. So that's the big ring. You can see it's a donut, de donut design from someone else, which name I not remember but um, basically it's his idea to use a donut design so uh, I know that mobs won't spawn within 24 blocks of you and the max range of that so I made this donut based on those values I'm not sure how he did it um, then I decided to make four dropping points. The original I saw was one dropping point, but then I zoom up for it, I think. Also made four, which makes more sense in my head, so I did four too. But as you can see, there's something weird about this. I'm not getting spawns. I'm not sure what it is. And sometimes when I log back on and lo log off and log on, so let me try to do that. Apparently that doesn't work either. So uh, it, it used to work. Um, my difficulty is set to hard. Uh, it's locked to hard. Uh, spawns are enabled, but I just cannot get a uh, mob spawning here, which is a bit strange in my opinion. Um, can we get down again? I love this ladder. So if we go down here, you can clearly see the E number cranking up to 86 so re mobs are really spawning here but I don't seem to be able uh, to get them spawning on top not sure why I did a quick re uh, research on that and I could just not figure it out uh, for now uh, we need to die to get back to the oval because oh, can, can I not make a portal here we have enough stuff for that I have an ender pearl Oop. Although when we are in the overworld, we are way out. So just die. <laughs> it's the way I've been using for quite some time. Ah, hello guys. I know. Also, there is no sp sp no more spawning on that platform too. Which is concerning me. Because why wouldn't they spawn? If you know the answer on that question. Be my guest, leave it in the comments, and I will thank you personally about it. Um, I need to clear this up too. Maybe I will do that uh, next time around um, when not recording because this. I wanted to build a Nexus, but this is way too small for a Nexus system. Uh, so I designed it overseas. Uh, but for now, uh, what I want to do also offline, offline, hmm, not really offline, um, off camera is remove this messy stuff because I'm placing chests everywhere and I don't know where everything is anymore. It should go in there. And it's just getting a mess. So what I want to do is move that over to the real chest room, the new chest room and improved version. It's getting also a creeper door, it's already almost in place. Um, and then improved it a bit more further and finish it. I'm not sure how to do it with the leaves and then we uh, will add a button to open the door and when you open the door it also, uh, uh, if you leave, oh this is broken again, if you Enter room, it will get down and move to another. It's broken again. So, how this works basically, this is the, um, the core that sends it all. So, we have three lines basically we have the red line, the melon line, and the pumpkin line. This is the lowest, middle, and high one. Uh, the lowest only get triggered uh, directly with this one, a little bit later with this one, and a lot later with this one. So. Uh, it turns on as first and it turns off as last. Uh, this one turns on a tree text. So it's basically 
uh, this one turns on directly after that this one turns on then this one turns on so that moves the three pistons that one that one and that one completely up and we have redstone dust guys I saw redstone dust spinning I'm not sure Oh, I need to check the recordings for that. And basically, uh, that, 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 and um, for backwards, go that, that, that. So one, two, three, and then three, two, one, and that will um, open and close this. So I will probably do a tutorial about this too. Oh, oh, I like the wood in back because that looks way better than that. I should definitely do that for now at least. So much more pleasing for your eyes. So uh, let me get working on this and finishing this and move some stuff. And then we can see if we can crap another, if we can start another episode in those 10 minutes we have left for the video. So uh, uh, yeah, let's do that. So as we have some more time, minutes left for the video, um, <laughs> I don't want to make short videos. Uh, I wanted to do uh, build up a bit of the base. Uh, of course, we made this um, storage room, which has a little bit of mass storage uh, because you can have three full chests, but uh, we have too much white, for example. So, what I wanted to do is build up um, a room, a storage room, another one, but then a mass storage room. I don't think we can do it below this because there's lots of stuff below here but I think we can manage to squeeze it right in right here so if we did that we may can do also make a cactus farm right here with a few glass blocks so we can look in and uh, that would be pretty cool I think so um but the first thing I need to do which I keep not doing but I really need to do is light off this place <laughs> because uh, I'm still getting mob crashes that um, mobs that die in here. I don't want to do that so we just lit it up by placing some torches around and hope they don't spawn anymore. No that's not possible. That's possible. Place one there, somewhere there because they spawn apparently I think on these uh, slime blocks which makes a bit of problem. Because after the time I walk in, either the zombie or creeper or whatever, which already happened already, uh, the creeper going up, uh, comes up and explodes. Or I'm getting the problem that I just hear mobs dying, which I don't like to. So that's source, I think, I hope. Still a bit dark there. You should not spawn on a redstone. So that's fine. Let's break this open. And let me dig a hole. Let me make a door and dig a hole so we can build a mass storage room.
So I want to wait the uh, cactus farm I'm right here behind this and I think what I'm going to do is I think it would look better if we completely did it with uh, a glass in front so from there upwards somewhere here I think we we'll just replace it with glass um, we will see how that looks like I need, don't need to look at where the glass was coming from uh, I don't like that uh, maybe I like that better I know it's a curved wall and that's going to give me some headaches anyway uh, but I don't, sorry but I don't worry about that um, I need some more stone bricks there is somewhere here and we missed some gravel because that broke well things broke and I need to fix it anyway but mm, do I like that so you come in and you can see that that's not nice so I wanna cover that up so maybe a bit weird but maybe not maybe a li little bit more glass and then another copper warp so we'll build it behind that so we need to break some glass and start digging this place out so while I'm digging this place I don't want to talk to you guys um, about my computer setup but we first need to get some efficient GPX and there's still an old chest room I know it's really shit move that around but um, there is one still, so that's nice. So um, recently, uh, I updated my GPU and my power supply uh, to be a bit quieter, but then still left the motherboard and the CPU. Uh, the CPU was indeed as I expected. Um, uh, the bottleneck of the computer, um, especially if I play a little bit of modded I played recently, and a lot of problems happens. Uh, with running servers and running stuff so uh, also it benefit I benefit a lot if I get a better CPU so what I did I uh, my CPU was four years old so what I did is grab a new CPU uh, buy one and then put it in uh, may upload some video to this channel or the other one channel I'm not so sure where to put that kind of stuff uh, but we'll be we upload it soon uh, I'm still editing that video, so don't worry about it. But uh, about the parts, if you don't like, <laughs> uh, I'll put an, maybe an annotation in the, in the screen if you don't want to s to listen to the part stuff. Uh, just want to do other different stuff. But uh, for the parts for my computer, I got an Asus motherboard again because I really like Asus. Um, and the last one, uh, I really like how they did it and. I just really like it and that's why I choose to do it again and go for another Asus this glass no I don't want that this is difficult than I thought I want this to be glass my bad. so I went with another Asus what I want is the set um, ooh, we're gonna hit that no don't worry it's the set 170 so it's a new uh, the new stuff is in there so that's really nice because that uh, enables overclocking I got a CPU that's in. I need to think of both at the same time that's not my biggest problem not my biggest problem no no that's, that's my big problem so um, I got an, a CPU I got an I don't need to see it right i5 66 a zero I threw it was an i5-6600K I'm not sure about the, um, the number part but um, it's the K version let me uh, overclock the computer which is really neat because uh, normally it would turn on and uh, it would uh, it would uh, work on uh, 3.5 gigahertz and uh, there's some difficulties uh, <laughs> comparing that to a lot of stuff but uh, don't worry about that so the 3.5 uh, gigahertz version uh, is really nice but uh, I can overclock that easily to 3.4.4.6 it's at the moment and it's still really stable and I really like that 
still doing some uh, benchmark testing for that to make sure that it's stable and when I upload my videos it doesn't crash halfway through because that would kind of really suck. Apparently we are hitting something, how is it here? Oh that's fine if you just hit it like that. Um, but um, basically if you want to compare a processor to a different processor which is a really different topic but I just want to let you know um, you basically have the speed of the processor that's 3.5 gigahertz in this time you have the amount of cores so that's four cores so it can do, mo do uh, four things uh, at once and it can solve one equation in a um, 3.5 gigahertz so uh, so it has uh, 3.5 um, cycles that's, a, that's a, the speed it goes on and it can do four things at the same time and then you have another factor is how uh, efficient it is and how accurate it is and some stuff and if you jig around with that you can get some nice numbers around that but I went with this one because uh, in most results it was the best and I could easily go with an i7 6600k but the problem with that was this was another 150 bucks more so I'm now deciding how big I wanted this room to be I want that room to be the same size as that so one, one, two, one, two, two. Oh, here it is one two one two two one two so it's that's exactly the same size isn't it yes that's really nice yeah, with this part um so i may want to move this so mm, no that needs to be in a half slap we don't have that well you do that later but that was the cpu and the thing uh, i went and i had and got another uh, CPU cooler that was way better than the one I was used to use <laughs> used to use than I uh, used to have uh, I used to have the stock cooler which was no problem because I was running anyway the um, a stock version but now I got a way better cooler uh, it's quite is 20 decibel if it goes on full speed so I configured the fans to run mostly on full speed and that's really nice it's shiny and so I got another um, one to cool my motherboard I got another one to cool another time my CPU fan just to make sure if it gets hot it cools it down and then it runs at the moment at like 30 degrees which is extremely cold for uh, this kind of stuff but it's really nice I think we need to hide the ceiling so to that way so let's do that not sure what we're gonna find no, no, nothing good so uh, that's about my CPU I will put an annotation on uh, this video if you want to see the a little time lapse and me talking more about this stuff but for now I'm gonna wrap this episode a bit up maybe it's a bit wrapped but uh, no worry uh, I will um, look into this design and have a little bit more to the cactus farm we will continue this is the first time I'm gonna do that continue this project for the next episode and yeah that's it so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more stuff and goodbye